There is a very flexible and comprehensive monitor system in GLD80. Signals being auditioned are displayed on the 12 segment bar meter next to the screen and they can be heard in the headphones plugged into the surface. A level control is provided for the phone signal. You can also patch the PAFL audio to any output on the surface and audio racks to provide an output to local monitors, IEM systems and listen wedges. Fader strips can be configured to provide a master control for the PFL section. Go to the control setup screen and drag the monitor channels onto the surface. There are two types, wedge and IEM, to allow you to set up a priority system where different types of monitor mixes can default to the engineer's wedge or headphones if desired. If you don't use the pre-selected system, then both outputs handle the selected stereo PFL signal. You can patch each of these outputs to any available socket on the surface and audio racks. If you want to pre-assign the default fader strips to wedge or IEM use, then simply select one of them as a mix. Press assign and touch mix on the outputs you wish to come up on that fader. For another type of monitor mix, for example IEM radios, assign your stereo AUX mixes to the IEM fader. Now, when you AFL a mix, it will appear on the engineer's local wedge or belt pack as desired. You can simply flip the outputs anytime using the mute keys on the faders. To save having a dedicated belt pack for IEM monitoring, the engineer can link the console's headphone outputs, large and mini, to follow the IEM mix. On the PAFL screen, there are master modes for input and output channels. The default is for both of these to be off. But you can choose input AFL so a soloed input signal will be dependent on the channel's fader and pan level. And for outputs you can opt for a PFL so you can check mix content before going live and pushing up the fader. With the on-screen matrix you can set up a default mix for the PFL bus outputs made from the main GLD mix buses. When no channels are selected in PFL you will hear this. There are built-in priorities to the GLD monitor selection. If you are auditioning an output mix such as an AUG send to a wedge and then press an input channel to check its level and audio, this will override the output PFL but when you release the input selection, you will return to your previous mix in your wedge or ears. Additive mode lets you have more than one current channel selected in PFL. Select follows PFL is handy if you want your processing controls to always correspond with the channel you have soloed. Mix follows mix PFL brings up the source channel sends to the selected mix being listened to. Very useful for monitor engineers. If a selected mix is also set to follow PFL, not only would you see the sends on faders, but the mix processing too. So if you press GEQ flip, then you will see the graphic faders on the surface and the RTA on the channel meters, so you can easily identify any feedback and adjust. The PAFL monitor bus has an external input facility. This can be used to bring in a microphone or line level signal from elsewhere into the engineer's listen wedge or headphones. You can patch an I.O. port channel to the monitor external in, enabling for example the front of house shout microphone to be heard at the monitor desk without using up an input channel or XLR cable on stage. The input has an on off button. Talkback in GLD is set up on this page. You can assign any form of input as the source, for example one of the surface XLRs. If a mic preamp is selected, you have gain, pad and phantom power. There is also a high pass filter for the talkback input. You then select on screen which mixes you want the talkback source to appear in. To go live with the talkback source, press the talk key on the surface. You can also use soft keys to assign talkback on and off to mixes. The LED illuminates when the assigned mix is engaged. 